Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful queen who wished for a daughter with skin as white as snow, lips as red as blood, and hair as black as ebony. Her wish was granted, and she gave birth to a baby girl who had all of those traits. She named her Snow White, but unfortunately, the queen fell ill and passed away soon after Snow White's birth. After some time, the king remarried a beautiful but vain woman who had a magic mirror that she would ask who was the fairest of them all. For many years, the mirror would reply that she was the fairest, but one day, it informed her that Snow White, now a young woman, had surpassed her beauty. Jealous of Snow White's beauty, the queen ordered her huntsman to take her into the forest and kill her. But the huntsman couldn't bring himself to do it and instead left her in the forest, telling her never to return home. Lost and alone, Snow White wandered through the forest until she came across a small cottage. Tired and hungry, she went inside and found that the cottage was inhabited by seven dwarfs. The dwarfs allowed her to stay with them in exchange for her help with cooking and cleaning. Meanwhile, the queen, still believing Snow White to be dead, asked her mirror once again who was the fairest. When it replied that Snow White was still alive and the fairest of them all, she decided to take matters into her own hands and disguised herself as an old woman with a poisoned apple, which she offered to Snow White. The apple put Snow White into a deep sleep, and the dwarfs believed her to be dead. They placed her in a glass coffin and kept watch over her, but one day, a prince passing by saw her and fell in love with her beauty. He asked the dwarfs if he could take her with him and they agreed, but as they were carrying her away, one of the dwarfs accidentally jostled the coffin, causing the piece of poisoned apple to dislodge from Snow White's throat and wake her up. Snow White and the prince fell in love and were married, and they lived happily ever after. Meanwhile, the queen, who had believed herself to be rid of Snow White forever, met a gruesome end when she was forced to dance in red hot iron shoes until she died. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to my channel. By subscribing, you'll be the first to know when I post new videos, and you'll also be supporting me in creating more content like this. So, if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.